Well, good morning. Welcome to Tim Barn Farm. It is a beautiful morning and a beautiful sunrise. You can see the sun's getting ready to come up back there. Anyways, so the boys are putting some last bit rides on these um, horses for our neighbor, the Dobson horses. And so they're out here this morning, so I'm gonna let you see a little bit of what they're doing there. And today we are taking a uh, big gray to go get a Coggins test and a health certificate. He is headed to New Mexico. So this is awesome. Uh, a guy that uh, he actually packs horses and whatnot, and he really liked the way uh, Big Gray went over the log maze. Big Gray really steps his feet up good and pays attention to where his feet are. So he'll fit right in with, with him and his family. So come along with us this morning and watch these boys work a little bit. And also come along and see Big Gray get his Coggins test. This is Luna this morning. Curtis is getting ready to saddle her up and uh, she's rolling around in the mud still. But anyways, Luna, there's Bugsy. Bugsy's already saddled and uh, he's doing pretty good to this uh, around here. Got the, we call this guy Studley. Studley needs a new home too. He is about a little over maybe a 14, 15 month old um, colt and he's looking pretty good. He's growing up, he's looking good. This is Big Gray. He's the one that's gonna go get a test today. This is Cinnamon. Z's working Cinnamon this morning. Where are you headed Z? Right to the round thing. All right. Sure is a beautiful sunrise. Isn't it? Yeah. Just kind of proud of Z this morning. Huh? Mm -hmm. Why am I proud of you this morning, son? I don't know. I actually got up. He got up, huh? On his own. And what motivated you to get up this morning? I don't know. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Z wants to do something this coming weekend. What is yeah. that? Go camping. Go camping. He wants to go camping this weekend, so it was one of those uh, he'd been promising to get up and struggling because we work long hours. And I said, if he doesn't get up, he is not going camping. So it's still on the table, isn't it? Mm -hmm. All right, what are you doing with her this morning? Um, I'll just get on her and work her in the round thin and then ride around outside. All right. Make sure we're concentrating on uh, neck reining, stopping. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Looking good. Johnny, what about you? Yeah, load him, make sure he loads good so we, so we don't have trouble loading him to go get him his cog and stuff and then probably ride him around. Sounds good. Yeah, hey, buddy. Big gray. Yeah, you see that sun starting to peek out. It's beautiful. There's my kitty cat. He's been, I haven't seen him in a while. Meow. What's up, kitty cat? Huh? Well, while the boys are getting started, Oh, Halo here. We, we lock her up separate because the other horses push her around and feed her. And then we turn her out, let her graze too. So she's starting to look much better. So I'm going to throw her her hay this morning so she'll have an earlier start so the boys can turn her loose when they're, when they're done.
Well, we got a, that load of hay like you guys saw. Got some chickies in here in the barn. Got some more over here. A couple over here. If we don't lock them up, the cats get to them. This is our last pig we got. We'll be going to pick the others up from Butcher. There's Tia and Sugar. And this guy. And the roosters that make all the noise that we need to eat. So we call this horse the Big Gray. He's not real, real big, but he's going to get to be right about 15 hands, maybe just under. And uh, and he's doing pretty good. Johnny's done a great job with him. This is one of Johnny's project horses. And he's found a new home. And so we don't quite have 30 days on this guy. And so... Talk to him. Yeah, he's still got a little bit of work, doesn't he? That's a good boy. Good boy. All right, Johnny, be careful. You gotta be back here in not too long. Curtis is doing some up downs on Luna over there while Z is working in the round pan. Bugsy's, I guess, would be in the hole. So Zamira's at bat, Curtis is on deck, and Bugsy's in the hole. And Johnny. Already has a lead off hit. This is our little sorrel gilding. And uh, I worked him last night in the round pen a little bit. And he was he was working pretty good. Curtis has had him start him in the round pen and but he's kind of been on hold because of these other horses coming in. So anyways, you'll see some more of him coming up. Does he go through the water for you? Huh? Huh? Come on, big gray. Come on, buddy. Come on. Get control of him. Get control of him. Come on. Let's go. Johnny's taking him through water yeah, over there. He's doing pretty good. And uh, we'll put him on a lunge rope and encourage him to go through this other stuff over here if he has troubles. But I think he'll be fine. Yeah. Looking good, Johnny. So it's real important for these horses to, to be able to go through water, very important. And so sometimes you gotta just let them know that it's okay and uh, let her look at it, think about it. There you go. Johnny, show them how to do it. So there you go, right there.
Not everybody wants to play in the water. <laughs> He's wanting to take a bath. Don't let him roll. <laughs> when they do that, sometimes they want to roll in the water. Yeah. <laughs> Work her slow. Let him go out first and then... There you go, Luna. When I was a kid, I had a horse come up to a pond like this and just start, start to take a drink and then he pawed at the ground and laid right over and rolled. I had to step off and get after him because I didn't want my saddle all get wet. But <clears throat> Looking good. What a beautiful morning this is. Johnny, <clears throat> what do you think? Pretty good little Milestone for for Big Gray, huh? Yeah. Be careful with him. He's got some eye boogers. This morning he had a leaf from the pine needles on his eye. Did he? Yeah. She was pretty cautious going in the water, but did good, huh? Mm hmm Well, it's probably Bugsy's turn, huh? Yep. All right, guys. It's about time for Big Gray and I to go to town to go get uh, this test. So, what do you think, Johnny? I don't know. I'm glad he's getting sold. I'm glad he's going to go to somewhere that I know he's going to keep the work and stuff. Yeah. So, let's go unsaddle him and load him up. Okay. Just take him over there. Curtis, how's she doing? That long-legged girl. Doing good. Remember, work uh, plow or not just plow raining, but neck raining. Okay. So she went right through that water. Yeah, she did good. Yeah. First time she went through it, she just she was following sky and went through it. So. Yeah. Well, she had kind of a tender foot, so let's not overdo her today. Okay. So you might want to go and and uh, uh, you ride something else. You know what I mean? All right, bud, why don't you, uh, um, I'll grab some feed here and uh, then we'll go over there together, okay? There you go. We'll take that tote of hay for him in the trailer. Okay. Proud of you, Johnny. You've done a really good job with him. Hadn't even been 30 days on him, but uh, You've done well. You want me to tie him up? Just... Yeah. Well, we're just going to close that back gate on him. I have this bandage and close it to call him up here. You got that door open. Yeah. Come on. You go, big guy. See you later. Here. Well, Johnny, horse is doing good. You're doing good. 
headed to get his test so he could go to New Mexico. Yep. It looks like you already got all muddy this morning, huh? Oh, my boots have been that muddy. <laughs> Wish us luck. Good luck. See you later. All right, well, here's Z's working Bugsy. Bugsy's trying to figure out which way he wants him to go. Well, it's feeding time this morning. You can see that Bugsy is getting a little anxious. He's seeing that hay come out. He knows it's time to eat. So, Curtis is getting chores done. Horses did good this morning. And um, tonight will be the last ride on these horses and then they'll be going back home. And I've enjoyed them, I like them. So kind of tell us a little bit about uh, the Dobson horses here. Um, well, this one, when I first started working with him, he was kicking at me and stuff with the, when I was sacking him down and just acting really study. Um, didn't want to have anything to do with me. Now he's, you can throw the saddle right on him, get on him and ride and he's, he hasn't bucked in a while. <laughs> so he's doing really good. Um, when we picked him up too, he didn't want to get in that trailer. But he loads good now. And then Cinnamon, she was really hard to catch. We had to rope her. But she's easy to catch now and she rides good. Luna was a little bit easier to catch, but she was still a little crazy. She's doing real good now too. But, yeah, so all these horses, they're uh, what they call ranch raised horses. And uh, they're wanting to keep this guy as a stud because they like the way he looks. And uh, his personality has turned out to be pretty good. If they'll keep riding him and keep pushing him, he'll end up being a really good horse, even as a stud, because he, he he's capable of paying attention to the rider and not just going crazy because Good thing about here is we have all these horses around. There's always one in heat. And so we're teaching these gildings and these studs to work through, even though there's a, a lady that wants them. That way, see he's right now, he's looking at one over there that she might be starting to come in, oh, Sally. But as long as they know that when they're saddled up and someone's on their back, that's who in, who's in charge, not them. So Z's done a great job here, and uh, Curtis and all of them have. So good job. Thanks. Right on. <laughs> these these Navajo horses don't like treats. <laughs> yeah. It takes them a while to get used to it, the treats. Okay. All right, buddy. Be good. Good oh boy. Look at you. You're a pro. Ooh, hey, hey, hey. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Ooh. It's all right. You're good. Boy. See? All good. All good. Five, nine, four, zero. So 
So Dr. Secord right now is calling the New Mexico Livestock. Yeah, I'm sorry. And uh, they require a shipping permit, which to go into New Mexico. So he's doing that, which is good with the horses. He's looked at it and uh, anyways, things are going good. Well, that was pretty painless. Um, I thought it was going to be kind of a pain to get the permit number from New Mexico, but uh, Mark, Dr. Sicard just uh, uh, just called and uh, the people picked up and they require, New Mexico requires a travel permit number and uh, some states do, some don't, but New Mexico is one that does require a uh, travel permit. So anyways, he just called the number. He got it all that information down. They drew blood on the on Big Gray. So the tests will go in today. He'll get tested for Coggins. And then uh, I'll get the health certificate and everything once the Coggins test is done. So now we're headed back to where I work and my wife is gonna meet me there and she's gonna take this big horse home. So anyways, it's been awesome. I really uh, appreciate, I got the best vet in the world. He is, he is unbelievable and uh, easy to work with and really knowledgeable and, and, and good. So I'm sad that he's probably gonna be retiring soon. But anyhow, this horse here, Big Gray, is gonna be going to a new home and he is, he's a, he's a good horse. Um, we haven't quite put 30 days on him and the guy wants to finish him out himself but the, some of the best qualities of this horse is that he's, he's pretty calm Johnny's done a great job with him but he's also he picks up his feet really well he watches where he goes and out of all the horses that I've taken through the log maze he navigates the log maze better than any of them he has a great way of picking his feet up. He's not the tallest horse either, but he can step over the big logs without stubbing his toe. And that tells me he knows where his feet are at. And that's real important. So as you can see this morning, we had a good time uh, riding him and he went through the pond really well after we kind of talked him into it. But anyway, I think he's gonna be a great pack horse for, for Steve. And uh, I really, uh, I don't know, Kind of miss him because i think he's going to be a great horse he'd be a good addition to keep around to for our our packing but it's also i'm glad that he's going to go to a good home that they'll use him and uh, they'll go packing on him so anyways sure appreciate you coming along with us thanks we'll talk to you later this is 10 barn farm over and out